Hello friends, today I will discuss about the GATE life science and GATE biotechnology because you already qualified the GATE examinations and you do, you major of the students are asking about the, what is the benefit and what is the things will get if you are getting the good rank or if you are qualified the GATE life sciences or GATE biotechnology what kind of benefit you will get if you qualified because the result is already out. So what will the, what are the benefits are there GATE life sciences or biotechnology I will discuss about in this video. And my name is Sanjay Das. I did my master's from Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi, and I'm doing my PhD from Regional Center for Biotechnology, Faridabad. So let's discuss one by one what are the benefits are available if you are qualified the GATE Life Science or Biotechnology. So first of all, you already know that if you are getting qualified with the good rank in the GATE examinations, you will get the the that is the eligibility criteria for the majority of the universities or the institute. If you are wanted to do PhD in the NITs, uh, the IIT or IC Bangalore, in anywhere you put, if you want to take the admission for the PhD, the Doctor of Philosophy, he, you need the eligibility criteria in any national level examinations like the CSI NET, ICMR, DBT or the GATE. If you have a GATE, you get the fellowship in IITs and uh, NITs and uh, IC Bangalore for that. But in other university institute, they will not pay for the, the fellowship for the GATE examinations and uh, it is the first benefit that you will get from the GATE. So there are other benefits also there. The, some students are qualified as the masters and they wanted to explore the science and they don't want to take admission in the PhD, Doctor of Philosophy. So they just want to see how the research field or research area is. So they are going for the GRF position or research assistant or the project associate post. It is already uh, the advertised by the different research institute like NII, NIPGR, ICGEB and the IGIB, different research institute. So for that, they are giving the eligibility criteria or you need uh, the any national level examinations like the CSI NET or the UGC NET or ICMR or Department of Biotechnology. If you are the GATE, you are eligible for the filling the application from the GRF position. That is the Junior Research Fellowship. So you can apply through this, uh, the GATE, uh, the score and the rank. So if you have a good rank, you have a great chance to be selected and because the interview is also important. If you are uh, appearing for the interview, it's, that is also important because they are checking your basics and the basics concept of the, of the scientific temperament. So that is also important. So there is a two benefit that I already discussed and the third is a, the, some student after the master they want, don't want to pursue for the research field or the any academics. So they need the one job and the, the stability in their life. So uh, for that you, you should, uh, they must give the examination of the gate because the uh, gate rank and uh, the score is a, important and valid for the different uh, the, uh, the biotech companies if you want to take a job if you want to go for the biotech companies you need the gate uh, the, the good rank and the score it is it's a eligible eligibility criteria if you are appearing if you get the good rank you will be uh, going for the job perspective as well so that is a more valid as compared to the CSR or ICMR if you are applying for the jobs the gate is a valid mo most one and that is a perspective of the job and if you want to take admissions in the foreign, abroad countries, because abroad, most of the students thought that a national level examination is not important for the, if you are applying for the foreign universities. But I, wa I wanted to clear that if you are applying for the Max Planck Institute or the Singapore Institute, Singapore National Universities or other some university also taking uh, the GATE score, they are asking for the GATE. If you are applying for the GATE, uh, if you have a good rank, they will consider it. So this is also important thing. They are asking for the GATE examination. Some universities will not take your the GRE, GRE score. They will ask for the GATE examinations, GATE score and rank. And that is also important if you are applying for the GATE examinations. So that is the four uh, major benefits that you will get uh, if you are applying for the GATE. And definitely the CV will improve if you are training for the GATE, if you get the good rank. Because the, the it test that will check your the aptitude level and the biological concept and the eligibility. Uh, the temperament. I, I know that is not sufficient for the any student, but it is quite little bit because it it it's contain a lot of aptitude, mathematic part as well as the uh, uh, the biological concepts. So that is important. So that is the in, uh, the the uh, importance and the significance of the gate biotechnology or life sciences. So you, I think, I hope I have cleared your doubts. If you have any problem, you can. Uh, write on the comment box i will i will try to solve your all the queries and if you still have any problem after, after watching this video you can directly contact to the uh, uh, new, new social media handles like uh, the instagram facebook 
or email you can contact i will definitely reply you if you have any problem and thank you so much for watching this video if you have any query related to this video i will i will happy to clear this uh, doubts and 